I'd like to now introduce our keynote speaker. Uh, President Steve Nash of the Vallejo Navy Council has been a longtime member of the Navy League. Uh, he's been the board, of, uh, he was a board member for the Sonoma Council since 1999, uh, president for six years and VP for many years. Uh, he assumed the presence of the Vallejo Council of the Navy League in February of 2020 and began rebuilding the council. He served six years in the Navy stationed at NAS Alameda as a flight crew in several positions on a C-9B transport plane. He then went into law enforcement and retired after 32 years in Marin County. He is currently a private investigator. He holds a master's degree in administrative science and with an emphasis on terrorism, homeland security, and mass disaster. He has been in the, Na in the Naval Sea Cadet Corps for over 22 years and is a senior regional director of the, Navy, the Naval Sea Cadet Corps overseeing the Sea Cadets and staff covering the mid and northern California and Nevada. All right, here he is. <laughs> <laughs> that was too much. I told him earlier he could shorten it, but he wasn't going to. Good morning, and in light of the challenging times that we're in, I will keep this short. I do want to thank everybody for being here. As a Navy, Naval League Vallejo Council President, I was well aware of the Reese Across America, including the program and ceremony and what it represented. I was also well aware of how sadly the Mare Island Cemetery had been ignored over the years. I made it a high priority to adopt this cemetery to recognize and honor those buried here. I did not want to decide which gravesite that would not get a wreath, so I started a fundraising effort. I had many who helped with the fundraising and setting up the fundraising websites, some of which are here today. The fundraising included corporate donations of people I knew and people who Nestor Aliga knew and introduced me to. The corporate donations came from, and everything I have here is in alphabetical order, so it doesn't mean anything, the order, but Gelati Brothers Construction out of San Rafael, Ken Winans Investment, Novato, myself, Philip 66, Toro University, Valero, and Vallejo Police Officers Association, which is represented here today also. Other veterans groups are American Legion, Lake Merritt Council of the Navy League, U.S. Subvets here in Mare Island, VFW Livermore, VFW Vallejo. And there are many individual donors, and everybody here probably donated. That's why you got the special invite today. I'm very proud of the Na Navy League Council, State Senator Dodd, Assemblymember Grayson, and U.S. Congressman Thompson's offices, their involvement in coming up with ideas for fundraising. They were very instrumental in guiding me in various directions so that we could raise the funds needed. And in about six weeks, we raised the funds. It was an amazing feat. We also. We also received two large news articles that resulted in many donations. The Vallejo Times and the Marin IJ all published it. All of you, I talked to one widow on the phone of a deceased retired Marine. I got many calls, but this one was very important to me, explaining how her husband had passed away and he was a uh, Marine exposed to Agent Orange. She was going to donate $300, just needed the address to mail the check. When the check arrived, and after that conversation, the amount was now $500. She could not be here today. But there are many other stories just like hers. The Mare Island Naval Cemetery is the oldest naval cemetery on the West Coast. Memorial Day and Veterans Day ceremonies have been here the cemetery was designated as a National Historic Landmark and has three Conditional Medal of Honor recipients, James Cooney, United States Marine Corps William Halford, United States Navy, 
Alexander Parker, United States Navy. Nearly 900 sailors and Marines who served in the War of 1812 to World War I are buried here. This cemetery was in very poor shape, but it had not been for Sergeant Mooney. For Sergeant Mooney, right there, well covered up with his mask. And his crew from the Army, they have done a tremendous amount of work to this cemetery to put it in the position that it is. And also with Sean Taylor of the city of Vallejo, who I work with closely and coordinates and takes care of this place. Also, is Elaine Foster here? I have not met her yet. She was going to be here. She actually did a master's degree on this cemetery. Her thesis was on this cemetery. And I've read the report, she, uh, the thesis, and she uh, shared it with me. So it was amazing that somebody did a thesis on this actual cemetery. That is my keynote part. As you can tell, I shortened things up. But now we're going to move into the actual ceremony. This is from State Senator Mike McGuire. Hi, Steve. I hope this letter finds you and your family safe and healthy. Congratulations and thank you for helping to create the GoFundMe campaign to raise money to place wreaths at the tombstones of 1,000 veterans at Mare Island Cemetery. As a U.S. Navy veteran, you know how important it is to honor those who have served their country and your mission to lay these wreaths on December 19th at the same time wreaths are being laid at Arlington Cemetery it is truly a goal worth supporting. Congratulations again and thank you for your efforts. If our office can be of any assistance, please do not hesitate to call. And a handwritten note from the state senator. Steve, this is a wonderful thank you for your hard work and for your service to our nation. This comes from Assembly Member Timothy Grayson's office. Well, from him. I'd like to thank the Reese Across America and the Vallejo Council of the Navy League for adopting the Mare Island Naval Cemetery to be part of this year's Reese program. The Reese placed in this cemetery and in thousands of cemeteries across our nation will help us to remember and honor those who have made sacrifices for our freedoms. Service takes many forms, but all military personnel sign a contract knowing that they may be called upon to stand in harm's way. These brave men and women with the support of their families and loved ones make the choice to put country above all else. And for that, we will always be grateful. It is critical that we not only celebrate the benefits of their service, but also acknowledge the cost that comes with it. For many veterans, one cost of service is an impact on their mental health and depression, affects millions of veterans, active duty vet members, and those close to them every year. It is on all of us to help make sure they do not suffer in silence and that we continue to support them even after their official service to their uh, country ends. So today I'd like to not only join with our community in remembering the fallen and honoring all who have served, but also renew our commitment to fighting for the health care, mental health resources, and support that our veterans deserve and earned. Thank you again to the Reese Cross America for helping us pay tribute to our veterans today. Many of you have a safe and meaningful, may you all have a safe and meaningful, happy holiday. And from State Senator Bill Dodd, Reese Across America, laying of the cemetery, ceremony, Mare Island Cemetery. Congratulations to Steve Nash and Vallejo Council of the Navy League and the local Reese Across America for their efforts today on National Reese Across America Day. In honoring the memory of those buried here at this historic cemetery on Mare Island who lost their lives defending our freedom, the ceremony is just one of among the more than 2,100 locations across the United States at sea and abroad where the Reese Across America continues their mission to remember, honor, and teach. Remember the following, the fallen, honor those who served, teach our children the value of freedom. The wreaths that are laid here today are symbolic of our respect, admiration for the sacrifices that our veterans have made in placing their lives on the line for our freedoms. Thank you for your commitments and efforts today to show our veterans and their families that we will not forget 
and we will never forget State Senator Bill Dodd. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a moment of silence to the fallen, to remember the fallen, the prisoners of war, those missing in action, and honor those who have served and are serving this great armed nation's armed services. Thank you all for joining us here today. The freedoms we enjoy today have not come without a price. Lying be here before us and in the cemeteries throughout this nation are men and women who gave their lives so that th we can live in freedom when without fear. We can worship as we see fit. We can raise our children to believe as we do. We can travel from one end of this great nation to the other and not have to ask permission to go. We are free to vote for whomever we feel we sh should be in government without no explanation needed. We have the right to succeed and we have the right to fail at whatever endeavor we wish to pursue. The United States of America was founded on the ideals of freedom, justice, and equality. Our nation stands as a shining beacon of liberty and freedom of the world. We thank those who gave their lives to keep us free and shall not forget you. We shall not always remember. Today, many of you here are veterans of wars and conflicts that America has had to fight to protect the innocent and the oppressed. This nation has always been the first to stand up for freedom of people who, around the world. We are here today to say thank you and we are honored to know at this time, I will ask all the veterans in attendance to please raise your hand for a round of applause. Normally I'd ask them to stand, but we're not using chairs today for. There are many men and women serving today in all branches of the military here at home and in places far away that most of us have never heard of. These men and women are part of the best trained, best equipped forces in the world. We honor them and their families and their sacrifices that make each day the, to keep our country safe from terrorism, hatred, and injustice. Quoting from our 40th president of the United States, Ronald Reagan, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same one. We spend our sunset years telling our children and our grand grandchildren what it will once, what it was once like in the United States where men were free. Today we show a united front of gratitude and represent and respect across the United States of America as we remember the fallen, honor those who serve and their families and teach the next generation the value of freedom. We will now, I will call certain people up to come up and post uh, the wreaths for each branch of service. We will also have the POW MIA, and then the last wreath will be posted will be for all the police officers killed in the line of duty protecting our country. First Sergeant Mooney, will you lay the veterans wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Army. Gaidano family, will you lay a wet veterans wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Marine Corps? Fred Imhoff, will you post a wreath in the memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Navy? Tom Jordan, will you lay a veteran's wreath or post it in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Air Force?
Don Anderson, will you post a wreath in, for those who served and are serving in the United States Coast Guard? Bob Arp, will you post a wreath in the memory of those who are serving and served in the United States Merchant Marines? David Miller, will you post a wreath in the honor of the 93,129 U.S. servicemen from all branches of the service whose last known status was either prisoner of war or missing in action? These individuals have never returned to their families and homes. We shall not forget you. Mike Nishalini, Vallejo Police Department and the Police Officers Association, will you post a wreath in the memory of all law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty protecting our country? I owe that one an American flag, which will happen by tomorrow. You will see the wreaths placed on each row and grave sites out here in the cemetery. I encourage every volunteer here today to go out and place wreaths on a veteran's grave to say the veteran's name and take a moment to thank them as you place the wreath. It's a small act that goes a long way toward keeping the memory of our veterans alive. Remember, we are not here today to decorate graves. We are here to remember. Each wreath is a gift of appreciation from a grateful America. These live wreaths symbolize our honor to those who have served and are serving in the armed forces of our great nation and to their families who endure sacrifices every day on our behalf. To our children, we want to understand the freedoms you enjoy today have not been free, but have come with a cost that somebody, someday you will have to pay yourself. As a nation standing together, we cannot defeat terrorism, hatred, and injustice without our veterans. So before we end, I do want to say one, one piece that uh, I think is absolutely amazing. Standing in the back is uh, Midshipman Lewis, one of the other things that the Vallejo Navy League Council does is support and sponsor the Naval Sea Cadet Corps. I've known Midshipman since he was probably, what, about eight? And he's in his first year at the Naval Academy, and he's home on leave, and he chose to come here for this ceremony. So thank you very much. We will now have taps played by Ronald Akistapache. benediction the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give our nation our community our families the peace of God that transcends all understanding amen just a few housekeeping items and then we will begin. As we go out to the cemetery to lay the wreaths, please keep the following in mind, including all uh, protocol for safety in place. All the wreaths are placed at the end of a row. By Thursday, by myself, 
Ken and Amy Salas, the Guidano family, and uh, Sean Taylor from the city of Vallejo. Th they were placed there intentionally and pre-staged so that we can keep our social distancing, or as I call it, the anti-social distancing. And please pick that row and stay with that row, and as you finish, then pick another row that, that needs a wreath. Please leave the American flags in place. They were left there intentionally after Veterans Day. My wife and I come out once a month or every two months, straighten the flags, replace those that are bad so that it looks nicely out here as a veteran cemetery. So please leave them there. If they're in the way of the wreath, as you post it, you can move it a little to the side or a little further out, but you should have no problem. Also, wreaths across America, I think they were stunned that we pulled this off the first year. So they sent me a little over 100 extra wreaths. If you have a relative, fan, anybody that you know that's a veteran at another cemetery and would like to place a wreath for them, please see me and I will give you a wreath or two or three, whatever you need to take with you. Everyone is dismissed. Let's go to the cemetery and let's place the wreaths. Thank you. Thank you.